over here, the API that we have created for now is not protected at all. Anyone who is aware of this URL can make use of it. And if we want to prevent this, we will have to add some security measures. And this one, we'll be looking at how we can do that. The first thing that we are going to do is create a random 32 character string using this command. And here, once we have this, we'll be copying this value and we'll be heading over to our environment.local file. And here we'll be pasting this API route secret. Now, we'll be going back to our create Stripe customer. And here we'll be checking this value has been passed or not. So here we'll be checking if the request.query has this API route secret and the value matches the process.env API route, then it's fine. Otherwise, it's going to return this 401. You're not authorized to call this API. Let's save this and head over to our terminal. And now go back to this request and click on send. This time, you see we are getting 401 unauthorized and the message appears over here. You're not authorized to call this API. So we have now protected our URL from being misused.